day eight of our Lenten journey with the Jesus and journey. Family ties. An often debated factor about Jesus's humanity is his family ties, but it shows up very clearly in Mark chapter six, verse three. He has traveled to Nazareth with his disciples and the people in his hometown are like, wait, how is he doing all these miracles? How does he have this much wisdom? We know who he is. He's the son of Mary, and we know his brothers, Joseph, Judas, Simon. We know his sisters. They, they literally list names of what they call him his brothers. doesn't list the names of his sisters, but we do know in other scriptures, it will often mention one brother in particular, James, who shows up in the Gospels, but even in Corinthians as well. And so we want to look at this to say it's it's it is sometimes a hot topic for for a few denominations for me, okay? I will say I I like to believe that Jesus had brothers and sisters that to me in in Mary's beautific lifestyle that once she has Jesus and has, of course, Joseph as a husband. She continues to have children because this is what normal life looks like. And, <clears throat> and so we're looking at, at the way uh, the interaction continues to, to, to develop. And we don't hear many stories, of course, of Jesus's childhood. So it seems like they were fairly normal. But once Jesus is in ministry, things do take a, a drastic tr turn. And we do see in scripture that, that there were Jesus's brothers uh, who didn't believe. And that's in Matthew and Mark. And, and they are basically coming to say, hey, you should really stop this. You should come home. We're kind of ashamed and you're, you're bringing shame upon the family. And Jesus says, you know, my brothers and sisters are those that, you know, are basically with me. He's acknowledging that, you know, we can't choose our family, but we can choose our friends, of course. But he never quite lets this drop. We see this later on. And we'd like to think that he even repaired his relationship with James. In 1 Corinthians 15, Paul goes on to say that, after Jesus was crucified, he was raised from the dead. He was seen by a bunch of people, and he was seen by James. So we see here that at some point after he was resurrected, before he left, he visited his brother. And we actually see James show up in Acts for the early church, and he becomes a powerful leader. And I would assume so, because here this family, especially brothers and sisters, are unsure because your your brother is calling himself God. And, and there's a lot of complicated factors that go into that. Even if Mary, their mother, is sharing the miraculous story of his birth. But we know that it's it's difficult. These relationships between family members are difficult. Why? Because we really do, at the end of the day, especially when we're in our younger years, we want them to see the world the way that we see it. We want them to believe this way we want. We believe we want to basically have them acknowledge that our way is right. Why? Because we are really looking for that solid, intimate connection that sometimes we get with friends more so than family members. But thankfully, this shows us that, you know what, and even in family life, there were these these dynamics relationally with the people closest to him that, that he had to navigate as the son of God. And it's just amazing to think about that, that even um, Jesus had to pray and seek help from his father to know what to say and to do when it, when it came to his own brothers and sisters. And we'll look to see what comes up next tomorrow.